Welcome to Bunny Fish Crafts. This is Bunny Fish Wonders episode three. Today I didn't have kids and didn't have real responsibilities. So I'm in I'm going to retroactively show you my day at this point. I have to record a few segments that got um corrupted in the transfer from phone to computer somehow. So sometimes Heather from the future, that would be me, will be popping in. Uh, the first part of my day is going to be super boring. I have to do some chores and stuff, but I'll check back in with you when I am out and about and doing things. I changed my mind. You get to help me do mundane chores. Yay! I don't actually buy canned vegetables. I usually buy frozen, but my sister buys canned vegetables, so it's what we had, and when I make stew, I usually just throw in a little bit of everything we have. So on top of that, I'm also going to be putting in half a can of this corn, and probably half an onion, maybe a whole onion, depends on how I feel, and two potatoes, and then cooking this again for the rest of the day. But I'm also going to be using this pot right here to make some chicken soup, because I love soup and stew and there are going to be no children here this weekend so i am going to eat soup and stew all weekend i'm super excited about it let's prep some uh let's prep some veggies now what do you think super fun totally fun so if you cut onions do you do it this way where you slice through sideways like this and leave this back here and then slice through down but leave this section and then slice across to dice it. My my best friend showed me that, and it's kind of brilliant. It makes dicing so much easier than if you went all the way through because it gives you something to hold on to the whole time. All the everything is added to the beef stew and the chicken soup. Now we just need to add heat. Don't they look delicious? Can I just say how much I don't love carrots, but I eat them out of a sense of obligation? Isn't that silly? But they're so good for you, so I feel like I have to. Ugh. And now, less exciting, it is time to wash the dishes. Boo. But I'm going to make myself some coffee to go along with that chore. Yay, coffee. I'm feeling coffee right now, not so much tea. Don't know why. I had tea... I drank a lot of tea last week, but this week I f it feels like a coffee week. Side tangent. I don't actually like coffee. I like coffee f with flavoring. I don't like coffee with unflavored creamer or sugar or anything. It grosses me out. But flavored creamer is amazing. This is amusing to me because when I make tea, I don't put anything in it. No sugar, no milk, no honey, no nothing. I just make the tea, whatever flavor it is, or unflavored, and drink it. The only notable exception is chai. And even with chai, I sometimes just make the chai tea and don't add the milk and stuff. But sometimes I do. So it's Erin's time. The first thing I did was drop off some stuff to my sister at her restaurant, and I meant to record walking up to the restaurant so you guys could see where she works so that if you're in the area you'll be like oh that place I need to go there because the food is delicious <sighs> but then I was a fail and I forgot so now we are at the library I just finished listening to changes by Jim Butcher um, I had to sit in the car for an extra two minutes while I was here to listen to the very last track so we are going to go in and see if they have the next book, which is Ghost Story, and maybe look at some other places for books. So this is the entrance to the library. They are having yard work done this morning, so sorry about that. I don't know if I'll even put this in because that sun is right in my face, so I can't even see what you're seeing. It's got a lovely circular drive and some flags going on. Here's the shelf where it would be and they do not have ghost story. I have it as an audio file on my computer. It was just convenient to have something in my car to listen to, but I saw this on the shelf while watching, walking over here. So I'm going to get the Iliad because I haven't read it. And, uh, you know, I try to read slash listen to 
classics when I can. Oh, all the way. All the, by the way, look at what they have. If you haven't read this trilogy, do it. It's so good. We are walking up the stairs. Um, science fiction, the adult section is downstairs. The adult fiction section is downstairs. They didn't have anything I wanted. So we're going upstairs to the teen section. Which is... Doo -doo -doo -doo, right there. That is one of the entrances to the children's area where I dare not go because I always end up with like at least 10 books for my kids and I just checked out 11 books two days ago for them so we're not going there today. How cool is this? I'm sure a lot of libraries have like board games that you can check out. I've just never personally seen it or done it. I think that I'm gonna get this Hoot Owl Hoot. Um, not today but in the near future, maybe over like Christmas break or something. Actually, you know what? I'm getting it today. Because Thanksgiving break is coming next week. So that's cool. And then look at this. I've never seen this. How awesome is this? Adult coloring book. There were four of them on the shelf. You check out a book and then you color the pages. I don't, I didn't check to see. I think there's only one page colored in here so far, but look at that. And then you color a page and you return the book. And then they have, well, you can see a local collection of community art. I went into the teen section to see if they had a copy of Deerskin, but they don't. So I picked up this instead by the same author, Robin McKinley. Um, it's a retelling of Beauty and the Beast, which is my favorite story. So I'll be reading this in the near future. <laughs> and I'm going to sit at the library for, I don't know, probably about 20 minutes and knit and listen to an audiobook. I will be listening to Drums of Autumn by Diana Gabaldon and knitting on a hat for Mary Lee. It is, um, Hmm. The tag is lost. Hometown USA in some black colorway. Uh, I started it last night. It's got some one by one ribbing, a section of stockinette, reverse stockinette, stockinette. And I'm just going to do that for a while. It's not an actual pattern, just making it up as I go. Driving to the grocery store. Oh, actually, driving now, I was at a red light. Uh, dangerous. Not really dangerous. But a little dangerous. And we're here. Let's find some parking. Mischief managed at Meyer. Got some garlic because I realized we didn't have any garlic and I need that for winter cooking period. And for most cooking, I like garlic on pretty much anything that's not a sweet dish. So I got that, got some snacky things, picked up a couple things for Christmas presents. On a side note, it is 62 degrees outside. I have my windows cracked as we're driving. It is the middle of November. Come on, come on winter. Don't you know that I need you so I can wear my hand knit? Or even actual autumnal temperatures. Okay, back home, groceries are put away, garlic is added to the things, and I have a pile of things to wash. I have a pair of socks, and a shawl, and hopefully those things don't bleed, and two sweaters. So the socks and shawl are new, so they might bleed. The sweaters I've had for a while, but this one, my um, my hamster's sweater, got coffee spilled on it, and this green sweater I've been wearing around for about three weeks, so it has all manner of things on it from children touching me with sticky hands. The next chore up on the list is wrapping some Christmas presents. Um, these were made possible by some very generous people. You know who you are. Um, I can't say thank you enough. And thank you to everyone who has bought the patterns in my shop with the coupon code because you guys are awesome. Presents are wrapped and I should be 
tackling um, Mount Laundry, which you can see over my shoulder, but I'm not going to. I'm going to hang out with Amy Beth and uh, color this awesome picture in my library coloring book. This is my desk. This is where I record, and it pretty much always looks like a hot mess. It just, that is what it is. I just, uh, I need chaos. now with Becky but I need to I really should do things so right after I finish with this color I'm gonna go do things I promise because we are gonna go watch some kindergartners be adorable and do their thing they're doing a letter parade or something I don't know oh, it's adorable it's gonna it be cute most adorable. hi big girl I am back from watching my daughter be super adorable the sun is in your face and uh, I'm gonna color some more. I did, look, I did clean that table off over there and I've got about halfway through Laundry Mountain, but now I'm gonna color. And uh, I did knit while I was gone. And it's just been my travel knitting sits in my purse, easy to work on. And it even, hasn't even been all of my travel knitting because I've had that hat that I was showing you too. And now sticks plus twine. So I've reached this top part of the picture and I have run out of a little bit of steam on it. So I'm going to take a break and knit on the hat, but also edit what I've recorded so far. The annoying thing is I have to right now record a couple videos that got to replace the videos that got corrupted. Hey guys, we are really prettily lit because I am driving to Mary Lee's house right now. I'm going to go hang out there, maybe spend the night, maybe not, who can tell. There was supposed to be a, a party like for mixers, um, alcoholic and oil and vinegars. That was the part I was really excited about, the oils and vinegars, but it was canceled. So instead, it's just going to be us hanging out, which will be super fun. And um, side note, so this guy in front of me has switched lanes like every 10 seconds trying to jockey for a position, and he's still just one car ahead of me. Um, like three miles back, he was one car behind me. So, I mean, I guess it was worth it for him guess. Oh, except now I'm in front of him. Special. Made it to Mary Lee's. Cool. Made a party. It's pretty cool. This is Laura. She's in charge of it. It's a mixed party. And look at this setup. It's ridiculous. So there's like alcoholic stuff and vinegars and oils. You should be so jealous.